I think we can all agree that everything I think we can all agree that everything in your 40s is different and your other. <laughs> Here is a note that everything in your 40s is different and your other. <laughs> Here is another and it's like, like you know it's like all in my whole life even through bodybuilding crossfit like all of these different things I've ever done I've never had a problem um me through bodybuilding, CrossFit, like all of these different things I've ever done, I've never had a problem um, me developing muscle, building muscle until my 40s and really kind of these upper 40s as a matter of fact. And so I've really had to tweak the things that I eat on the daily basis. I have corn, I can't have dairy, and I can't have gluten. So I'm going to tell tell you guys a lot about what I'm going to eat this week and like kind of my hacks because I'm also somebody who doesn't love to make e extensive meals or anything. I'm a very simple eater and I like things to just be ready and extensive meals or anything. I'm a very simple eater and I like things to just be ready and ready to go whenever I want them. Okay. So I do a lot of food prepping. So a couple of things that, um, since I've had my hysterectomy, which has been about six months, I've really, uh, changed the way that I eat and I really changed the way that I work out and that has helped a ton. So like one of my go-tos, this is what I made yesterday and this will last me, uh, the week and it'll be what I eat for lunch. Uh, sometimes breakfast and sometimes snack, whenever I'm hungry, I'll go into the kitchen and I will get to eat for lunch. Uh, sometimes breakfast and sometimes snack, whenever I'm hungry, I'll go into the kitchen and I will get some of this. Okay. This is my chicken salad. I did, did anybody do whole 30 back in the day? This is the only thing that I got from that was this recipe and just wrote to get some of this. Okay. This is my chicken salad. I did, did anybody do whole 30 back in the day? This is the only thing that I got from that was this recipe. It is rotisserie chicken. It's grapes, uh, pecans and turkey bacon. So the rotisserie chicken, you know, if I'm, if I'm got my act together and my husband is smoking a chicken for the week, that is what I use in there. But if I don't have my act together and I need a quick hack, I just get rotisserie chicken and I cut it up small bites and I put that, I just get rotisserie chicken and I cut it up small bites and I put that in there with mayonnaise. And that's, I mean, that will feed me. It takes 10 minutes to make and that's mostly because of the turkey bacon and then I get my small bites and I put that in there with mayonnaise and that's I mean that will feed me it takes 10 minutes to make and that's mostly because of the turkey bacon and then I get my um, either my almond flour or my cassava flour any of the those wraps and I eat to get my um, either my almond flour or my cassava flour any of those wraps and I eat two of them and super easy healthy all of the things so in the next couple of days I'm gonna teach you and share with you some of my hacks and I eat two of them and super easy healthy all of the things so in the next couple of days I'm gonna teach you and share with you some of my hacks and my tricks tomorrow I will show you my breakfast my breakfast has 20 grams of protein in it and it tastes good because that's another thing I don't know about you, but like, I don't want to diet. Like I, I feel like I spent my whole entire life dieting. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to enjoy my food. I want to be very healthy. I want to be lean. I want to be strong. I want to be all of those things. And I just am trying to figure out a way to do it all together in the forties. So I hope you will join me for my food adventures. And if you've got something that you love, share it with me. Let's, let's learn from each other. We, we could always use, um, more, you know, more heads are better than one. So 